Before concluding the case, let's assess the risk factors first. If there's calcium deposit around that area, it will be even worse. This is a little challenging. The balloon will not be inflated. The valve will not completely expand, especially this line over here. This is the process of preparing TAPI. The whole process will be done by me and Dr. Sun, but Dr. Chanapoying and I will release the valve. It's tiring, actually. I have always taken good care of myself. I started working out since I was a child until now that I have aged. I feel like I don't have the strength to exercise anymore. Around two to three years ago, when my dad first started to have the symptoms, he used to go for a bike ride in the morning at Lumpini Park. For the past two to three years, he has been getting tired easily. He has shortness of breath. Before, he used to sleep in his bedroom upstairs, but recently he has not been able to walk up the stairs anymore. So he had to move to the bedroom downstairs. Before, he used to go for a walk in the front yard, but now he cannot do that. He gets tired. He's not quite happy anymore. So we decided to consult a doctor. We went for a physical examination and that's when we found out that his heart valve is not closing properly. He is having problem with his valves. Kun Somkiet has been diagnosed with heart valve stenosis. This happened from a natural degeneration. Normally when the heart valve starts to deteriorate, there will be three crucial symptoms. The most vital symptom is chest tightness, dizziness, fatigue and heart attack. When these symptoms occur, treatment should be received as soon as possible because these increase the risk of death over time and the patient will eventually have a poor quality of life. First, the doctor suggested my dad to have an open heart surgery. But our family was worried about many things because dad is quite old and he has many underlying diseases. So we decided to go for oral medication. He was been treating with oral medicines all this time until now. The doctor told us that there is an innovative treatment called TAVI. It's a new treatment method. After talking to the doctor, our family is confident that TAVI has low risk factors, low death risk, duration of the treatment is shorter. So we agreed with the doctor to perform this procedure on my dad as it is the most suitable option for him. Since TAVI uses an insertion of a catheter, the patient needs to be aware of the procedure. The first thing he needs to know is that he has severe valve stenosis, and having severe aortic valve stenosis requires an echocardiogram. Aside from that, his condition will be assessed by multidisciplinary teams in terms of the risks he may have during the surgery. The level of his physical strength has to be evaluated to determine if he has the chances to recover or the chances to have a better quality of life. After undergoing the surgery, the next important factor is to do coronary computed tomography and geography by injecting contrast material to examine the coronary arteries. When everything passes the assessment and fits the criteria for surgery, we will do the CT scan to measure the precise position of the valve. To choose the size of the valve, measure the position of the leg where the catheter will be inserted as it should be the most accurate spot that research has recommended. The opening for the catheter has to be the safest location and needs to evaluate if the size of the valve will fit through the catheter. The benefit of TAVI is that it is a minimally invasive procedure that causes 
less blood loss. If the procedure is successful, the patient will have tiny scars on both sides of the groin and a scar from the temporary central line in the internal jugular vein located in the neck. The total length of the incisions in the body should not be more than about five centimeters. He will have a better recovery period and a shorter duration of anesthesia. He will be able to get up and walk within three to four hours after the surgery. I felt better after the surgery. Now I don't feel tired anymore. The feeling is incredibly good. I can go home now. Everything here is exceptionally good. The doctor is an excellent surgeon. He was checking up, making sure everything is all right. I'm happy to see my father is doing well. His face is bright and lively now. He is physically strong. His response to the surgery is very well. He wants to start running already, but he can do that just yet. It's amazing. I am extremely happy, I don't know how to put in words. And I'm really surprised that Tavi takes such a short time and it can be done so quickly. From the admission day until he was discharged, the recovery was only three days. I am amazed with Tavi. This innovative treatment. The medical team gave excellent advice from my father both before and after the surgery. The hospitality that my father received from here is remarkable. Whether it's being the rehabilitation center, which provided counseling and thought breathing exercises before and after the operation. I would recommend Tavi to those who have elderly at home or parents who have heart valve diseases. I can say that Tavi is the best treatment option. And the duration of this treatment is short, safe, and is highly effective. I believe this is a great treatment option at the moment for those who are having heart valve problems. Wetani, victory for life. If you want to learn the good words of the hospital, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and press the bell icon.